Ladies, imagine if on the day of your first period, your family invited guests to celebrate this occasion, and everyone would know that you were having your period. In many countries, this prospect doesn't particularly scare women, but Japanese women are horrified by this tradition. Nevertheless, they still celebrate because it's a tradition. In general, the main Japanese tradition is to do things they don't like. But what can you do? Is how things are done. What is menarche? The Japanese are not unique in this regard. In many Eastern and Mexican cultures, the day of a girl's first menstruation is considered special in her life. It's a cultural phenomenon called menarche celebration. After all, the girl has become a real woman, someone who can be seen as a bride. This tradition fits organically into the overall cultural fabric. However, Japan once again stands out with its contradictions. The topic of women's hygiene, menstruation, and vaginal discharge is extremely taboo. Yes, they can show late-night TV shows where naked Japanese people slide on naked, oiled-up Japanese women, but you can't buy sanitary pads. This is one of the most common cultural shocks for foreign girls who stay in Japan for several months. Having periods here is shameful. When buying sanitary pads, you will be offered a special, tightly sealed black bag so that no one can see the pads through it. They will pack them under the counter so that other customers, God forbid, don't notice your embarrassment. This taboo is instilled in girls from childhood, so they get used to the idea that this topic is shameful. For example, they can ask a classmate for toilet paper, but pads can only be requested secretly and in a whisper. And against this backdrop, a celebration. But when girls experience their first menstruation, they decide to celebrate this embarrassing event. By the way, Asian girls mature a little later, on average at the age of 13. Perhaps this is related to the previous age of consent in Japan which was finally raised recently. So, at the age of 13, they place red beans, red apples, and red rice on the table, which used to be considered expensive festive food. Relatives come over, they see the table adorned with red, and everyone understands. And there you sit like an awkward teenager, burning with shame because you have those days, as our self-conscious girls like to say. Japanese women like to reminisce about such family celebrations as absolutely dreadful. As teenagers would say, it's cringeworthy. In Mexican culture, even modest girls don't experience this level of embarrassment. Because this topic is not silenced until the age of 13. We don't have such a holiday as a cultural phenomenon in Russia. But privately, Perhaps someone has celebrated this event with their parents or just their mother. Subscribe and share.